Um, I think I want to be remembered for just working hard. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like coming up or coming in, not really having expectations of myself or I didn't know what the coach's expectations were of me. You know, I wasn't coming in a projected starter. So I think, you know, just coming in and I hope people will just remember that I worked hard and that they can see that, hey, hard work pays off and mm -hmm. you can come to your senior year and play and have a great mm -hmm. season and, mm -hmm. I don't know, that's what I would do. But you did, you did work yeah. hard. Yeah, I think it like shows a lot that you were just the pinch runner for two years and you did it like to the best of your ability. I was ability. about to say like, you, like that's I all. loved it. I know, <laughs> I was like, yes. Yes. Like, you accepted the role <laughs> and I think that's what we need them. Yeah, you know, yeah, like we need yeah, all yeah. we need that because then everyone's on the same page. I don't want to I want to be remembered as someone that had fun doing their job. Mm -hmm. Like you know when it can be fun. Yeah, <laughs> like you can you know when to have fun and you know when to be serious. Like I said um, the other day, and they're like, "Oh, I never see you smile." So that's because when I turn around to the outfield, I'm I know, I see the smile. She she yeah. just like piped a pitch and I'm like, Ooh. And, then I'm so and then she turns around and like, yeah. smile like, oh, and then we're like, like, I just missed. And they're like, <laughs> and they're like, what do you mean you smile? And I was like, well, when I turn around, I smile, but when I'm facing the batter, you know, you know when to be serious, you know that yeah. you've got to do your job. And she's like, oh, okay. So I, I think I want to be remembered as someone that was composed when they needed to be and you had, you, what, what did they have fun? I think that fits you very well. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you need that, I feel like you need that balance. You can't be, okay, you can if you're Stephanie. You can be serious 24-7. But I'm not <laughs> Stephanie. <laughs> um, I think mine's similar to Bryn's, just because it's like, almost identical, I guess. Yeah. But, um. Similar goals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Same thing, uh, pinch running with Bryn. Mm -hmm. Um, just working hard, like having, um, always having that goal of uh, getting a scholarship and it was really cool um, senior year getting one and like, like ball everything announced came it. Off. I was so excited for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I was like finally <laughs> like I couldn't believe like what? <laughs> I don't know that's so awesome. Because I don't think people realize like what you get out of it. Yeah we weren't playing for the first couple of years but like we stuck it out for four yeah. years. Like we could accomplish this that like not many people get to be Division One softball athletes, and we got yeah. we stuck with it, and we can say we did it. And I just want like people to remember me as just a person that they can look up to, you know, especially out of Hawaii. Um, mm -hmm. My story out of Hawaii. I mean, I didn't play softball until I got to high school, and um, I didn't think that I could play, you know, with these guys, and, like, I used to watch on TV, ESPN with my dad all the time, and be like, damn, these seasons are good, like, I wonder what it feels like to play in the World Series, and I did it right after I graduated, you know, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I just want, so cool. I just want the, the younger athletes of Hawaii to know that you don't have to be from the mainland, or you don't have to compete at such a high level to work hard, you know, mm -hmm. and, you, my dad can tell you, like, I'd be, I can spend hours in the batting cage seven days a week. <laughs> I that's the one place that I could be every day when my dad didn't have to drag me out of the house for it. <laughs> and, um, what about to run? <laughs> <laughs> not to run. But <laughs> that, yeah, drag me. <laughs> and yeah, just um, letting the younger athletes know I think that you don't need the best facilities or um, the best coaches or nothing. You just have to work hard and put in that extra work and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I that's what speaks of that passion. <laughs> yeah, so I did. Yeah, I just, I just really liked to play it. I mean, honestly, I didn't even want to play softball. If I could play baseball, I would. And um, once I had to make the switch over, I think I kind of took it seriously, and I knew that maybe I could go to the next level. And I think that's that's my main thing is I just want the younger the younger girls to know that um, I was in their same position. I didn't even I didn't have a when I was younger, I didn't even have a team, a softball team to play on because we didn't have enough girls. So oh, that's crazy. That is crazy. It's just, yeah. I don't know, something that, that I'm, I'm blessed to be here and I just enjoyed this this ride with these four girls <laughs> around me. Like I couldn't do it without them because they know for a fact that I'm not very talkative. I, mean, <laughs> I don't Mostly. make friends easily or nothing. So um, I, I think you're, I, 
I, I like to play. And I, <laughs> yeah. So I, I just, I just like to play, you know, and I, I have fun doing it, and I like meeting new girls and um, having that family bond. And I'm glad I got to do it here because I don't think I, I'd have this, this feeling if I was anywhere else. Thank you. I think you're like the perfect role model for girls like that that, that don't understand that you don't have to be from the big city or you don't have to mm -hmm. be recruited by UCLA to be good. You know, you have to, it's, it's the right school to it's fit. It's the right you. fit and yeah. you can be an All-American regardless of where you're at. Right. You can come from a small town, from a small island and still do awesome. Mm -hmm. I wonder you remembered as someone that left it all on the field that played lights out because they wanted to and not because they were forced into it. I want to be remembered as someone um, that put passion into the weight room, put passion into... She didn't skip um, reps, guys. <laughs> don't skip your reps. Don't say it's hot. You know what I meant by that speech. I wasn't pointing people out. Kyle. I don't know. That's hilarious. <laughs> um, <laughs> And so, yeah, I, I guess I just want to be known as someone that was passionate about life, passionate about um, the people around her, passionate about the game she played because I was blessed with it and, and with hardship all through my career here, which is crazy. I don't know, I don't know why a 22 year old would go through all of this, but I think it's definitely grown, made me grow up, and and that's something I want to be remembered as as someone that was. Um, poised, but also very intense and passionate about the things that I did. Yeah, I think that's what. That's yeah. I think you really. Did. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. Nailed it. I think that's exactly yeah. how I remember you. Yeah. Like without a doubt. Perfect. Yeah. I'm yeah. glad that we all perceive ourselves the right way. Yeah, yeah. we all see each other. We're not. We're not seeing ourselves in like this fake light. <laughs> yeah. We see ourselves. But we don't see us. Fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think you Kelly too helped me a lot because um, everything that you've been through I mean I've been like through small part injuries mm -hmm. stuff mm -hmm. like that but um, I think if I didn't see what you went through and come back as fast as you went and still killed it you know <laughs> I think um, if I personally had to go through that it'd be really hard and I think that because you went through it and we got to see it firsthand, it pushed us as a whole team. Definitely. You know? mm -hmm. So it's made yeah. us stronger people overall yeah. because you see things like that and you never think that it oh could my happen. God. Yeah, you don't think it yeah. could happen to people our age and everything really, like people that we your yeah. illness, like mm -hmm. and then just to see you come back and bounce back to a hundred percent and even better than that, like it shows us that it can be done and it just yeah. takes a little bit of drive and knowing what you want, you know, yeah. and yeah. I don't know, just, and yeah, oh, like, man, yeah, make yeah. you realize, like, how special it was for us to be here, you know, how, yeah. how um, blessed and appreciated we should be to have yeah. to condition, mm -hmm. have to run, all the stuff that we grumble about, you yeah. know, it's like, some people, they can't run, or they mm -hmm. can't um, do stuff that we do, so, mm -hmm. it's, I think it's pretty awesome. I'm gonna miss us. Some <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. teammates. Yeah. yeah, I think that was the other thing. If I could be known for just being a good teammate, teammate. Yeah. on and off field, like yeah. mm -hmm. it's nice to know that people like trust you or like yeah. care about you to have your back. Yeah, that or like feel comfortable enough to like talk to you. You know all that. Yeah, on and off field. Yeah, I like this everyone. Mm -hmm. I know. Good it's gonna be a rough two weeks, man. <laughs> no, it's gonna be long. We're gonna make this a yeah, long. So we're gonna stretch it out. Kelly, Kelly, Kelly wants to see stretch it. Long, but the, the, the wedding to be come. short. I saw the twi she twi saw twi twi tweet. She saw the I did. Thanks. And yeah. I, I didn't know. I want our season to go as long as possible. I didn't know how that was gonna work though. Hurry as fast as it can.